Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Trading News on yen.com.gh with me, Philip Abutiati. Coming up in this edition, suspected killer in recent police murder case arrested. Also, police administration urged to reconsider their decision of equipping and arming personnel on duty and in education placements for senior high schools to be released on Friday. We have details of these stories in a moment. But first, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Now to our very first story, and police have arrested Juan Kojudria, who is said to be the mastermind behind the attack and killing of Sergeant Michael Jamesi and last Corporal Awal Mohammed at Gomwabudumburam in the central region last Wednesday. According to police sources, the suspect was arrested around 2 a.m. on Saturday on his way to Aflao. According to sources, upon intelligence information received, policemen detailed on duty at the Atumpoku Bridge were alerted to arrest occupants of a black golf car heading towards the Volta region with registration number GW597218. He was said to be on board with a plaster on the left side of his face. The acting inspector general of police, IGP James Opong Bona, had placed a 10,000 bounty on the head of Eric Kojodria Budumburam when the policemen were killed as home largely to Liberians living in Ghana. The camp was established in the early 1990s in the heat of the Liberian Civil War that lasted nearly 15 years. Still on the police, the Bureau of Public Safety has called on the police council to halt an announced measure to arm personnel of the MTTD of the Ghana Police Service. According to the group, the government must first equip personnel of the MTTD with the requisite soft skills before arming them. This was contained in a statement signed by the group's executive director, Nanayao Akwada. The statement follows a directive from the Interior Minister Ambrose Derry to the Acting Inspector General of Police to arm all police officers on duty. This move, according to the police administration, will ensure the protection of its personnel who have recently come under attack in line of their duty. Five police officers have been killed in the last 30 days, something that has brought to the fore the issue of safety of law enforcers in the country. Also, Deputy Public Relations Officer of the Eastern Regional Command of the Ghana Police Service, Sergeant Francis Gomado, has warned the state against giving weapons to every police officer in an attempt to arm them. According to him, not all can be trusted to be professional with the use of firearms. In a Facebook post, the officer said the decision to arm officers must be thought through carefully. Let's delve into education now because the computerized school selection and placement system for senior high schools is said to be released by Friday, September 6, 2019. This means that qualified candidates can check the school the system has placed them in by close of Friday. Director of Communications at the Ministry of Education, Mr. Vincent Eko Asafwa, who disclosed this in an interview, said iterations are being done ahead of the release of the placements. The total number of senior high schools for the placement exercise is 721. He said the number of vacancies available in these senior high schools is, however, yet to be determined. Despite this, he said the placement would start with some 346,094, which is the number of students who completed senior high school, while management finalizes the actual vacancies available in the school. That number is far less than the 517,331 candidates made up of 363,602 males and 253,721 females who sat for the basic education certificate examination. Year News will keep a close eye on this development and bring viewers up to speed in due course. But these have been the trading news on yen.com.gh with me, Philip Abutiati. Remember to leave your thoughts in the comment section below.